we're going with the television. <laughs> okay, so going to the store here. The first item I get on the t-shirt rack is the One Direction t-shirt. Never really got into them, honestly. Yeah, Harry Styles is big now. Okay, cruising along and uh, grabbing this Jordan Jumpman brand here. Nostalgic for me, loving Nike as a kid. Yeah, I really like the the colorway. Well, I wouldn't say color, it's not really color, but the black and white is pretty cool. Yeah. Checking out this Miss Me shirt, um, not worth much. I usually pick up the jeans. All right, and here's some shorts by the brand Hook and Tackle. And it has like um, a knife pocket on there, which is pretty cool. And uh, we decided to roll with these ones right here. Yeah, because they're actually a good size. Um, usually the larger, the better uh, for stuff like this. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what those were, but I don't think we ended up getting them. No, maybe it was the color. Yeah, so our daughter brought over this vintage sweater and I was just explaining to her that I'd seen this brand before. Um, I thought it did pretty well, but unfortunately um, they just don't sell that much. So we ended up putting them back and that was for personal use. Yep. All right, I got cash here, meaning in the cart. And then I found the Stray Kids hoodie here. I was really stoked on this because we were in Indiana. I didn't think they were going to have any K-pop stuff in the store. But guess what? Here it is right here in the wild. Yeah, that's awesome, babe. Yeah, and so I was like showing you. And here's the Terracam here on yeah. your perspective. And you were like totally stoked too. You'll probably steal that from me later. Yes. And yeah, we got Mickey. Yep, and then I found uh, this Mickey shirt. Um... It actually is from uh, the Disney catalog, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so I picked that up. Yep. Um, I also found some cute little overalls for me. There you go. Um, oh. And then also I got this Linton, Linton. shirt. Yeah. So that was my second Linton shirt, I believe, um, that I picked up. Not a big red fan, but I liked I like the, the color print. Way. It looks yeah, cool. So. Looks good on you. Yeah, thanks, honey. Yep, and then what we got here? I'm uh, just checking out more stuff to see if we can find any Lululemon. And then I found this oh, really yeah. cool vintage sweatshirt here. It's like a Southwestern print. Yeah. Absolutely love this. Um, so just checking out the tag here. It was not single stitch, but I think this one will do really well since this is in style right now. And here's a Jordan brand again. You can just tell by the silhouette. And um, yeah, I'm gonna look that up later. Unfortunately, a lot of that stuff's flooded, so it is. I think we ended up putting it back. I think we did. But then you were pretty excited about this. Yeah, the Jimmy Buffett. I like Jimmy Buffett's music, and it just is a cool logo. And I was just putting in the cart to look it up. And then my daughter also bring over these jeans. Acid wash. Um, yeah, that you were just talking about. Um, but after looking them over, they just weren't really worth it. I don't think the style was that great, uh, especially right now. Um, but this this is a really cool blanket here. Um, I thought it looked nice, but unfortunately it just wasn't worth anything in the end. Oh yeah, and this is a cart. Yeah, so this cart rolled out. Um, this is definitely a Christmas cart. Uh, so me and my daughter were all over that, looking at these cool snow globes. Snow globe! Um, I wasn't sure what this little Merry Miniature thing was, um, but obviously I put it back because I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I was looking at this snow globe a little bit. I was hoping that it was Mr. Christmas, mm. but unfortunately it wasn't. <laughs> Then my daughter <laughs> Tosses. ended up throwing this <laughs> Mrs. Claus to me. She knows that I look at these satin plush, and that's definitely something you guys should look up as well. But we did put her back. She wasn't worth much. Actually, if Mr. Claus was with her, it might have been an okay pickup. Yeah. But he was You wasn't. want him in a pair for sure, huh? And that was not Mr. Claus. It oh. was not the same one, so... Oh, uh, bummer. Then, yeah, so, but I was checking out this. It, it was a blanket. Um, check out your blankets, guys, because some of them do really well. That one was just a cheapy one. 
And this is the cash finder right yeah, here. Yeah, and this was so funny. So he is really into smoothies right now, and he thought this was a smoothie maker. And he kept saying smoothie, smoothie, <laughs> um, trying to get his lingo. Yeah. Um, but we did make that, so super cute. Right. Um, these were Anesco little elves. Now, not all Anesco does great. Um, but I think they came in a set of three, and I think one was missing. Um, Even the Cash mouse realized didn't, that. Yeah, and the mouse wasn't belonging to that set, so I oh. put it back. But then I grabbed this modem off the shelf, which was an awesome pickup. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely check out your boxes, guys, because sometimes... Um, when people buy new modems and new items, they will end up putting in their old modem. Um, oh, that's wrong. Yeah, so definitely double check. Um, it did come with the directions. Um, it did, did not have the cord, so I ended up um, just selling it as is. But here I am looking at the model number, making sure that they match, yeah, making good. sure it was the same net gear and it definitely was and yeah. it sold pretty quick that's a qa thing right there that's yeah. awesome good job babe. i learned that from you that's right <laughs> and this is the nike hoodie uh, you know it's oversaturated with nike i noticed lately so but i i just put in the cart to look it up later unfortunately we didn't get it this one right here this is anime for sure but i was puzzled because it's got deku from my hero academia and it says hunter hunter so i'm like hmm okay that's wrong so then I go and quiz my wife here, and you know she was right on point. She's she recognizes Deku, but then like I was, she was like, like, wait hmm, a minute, that not is Hunter, not Hunter Hunter, Hunter Hunter. Yeah, and I was like, why are those together? <laughs> hey, I actually might be worth something, but somebody I don't know. just made it. I think. Yeah, and, that's uh, exactly what happened. And that is exactly why I was at the Goodwill. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of it. And then here, just look at that toner. Yeah, because I've trained him on ink, and that can do really well. Yes. And then here was an awesome, awesome find. This is a jelly roll. Um, it's fabric strips. Um, it was regular, I think, 30 bucks. So yeah. um, that was a cool little pickup. Yes, that's awesome. And then also um, these vintage um, paper deal things. Um, I got a pack of like Thanksgiving. Halloween. Um, All the also seasons. found, yeah, the Easter ones were which really cute. Um, and then also um, later you'll see um, some other ones I picked up. But I also found this. Um, I can never remember the name of it. <laughs> Candle something. Stick chandelier or something Candlestick like that. Candlestick chandelier. We'll go with that. Yeah. So anyways, these can do okay. Mm -hmm. um, here's the Christmas one which was totally cool um yeah i ended up we'll end up showing you in the hall later um because we did open them up for you but um yeah here's a little sneak peek yeah, so. and this is us checking out here and we spent about 75 dollars for this one so yeah so awesome ladies here yes um, they definitely will friendly. get to know us what you got, babe? That was a good day at the thrift. <laughs> yeah, you shot, didn't you? No, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> we went and rolled in deep. Alright guys, uh, welcome to the channel. We are filming inside our new storage. We went to the Goodwill for the first time um, since we moved. Mm -hmm. And it's actually supposed to have been the second ranking best Goodwill, they say. I was not aware of that. So, pretty cool. and we did pretty good. So I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we actually got quite a haul today. And so Kevin's going to go over some stuff. I'm going to go over some stuff. Yeah. And then we'll um, back yeah, and forth. you can see what we got. The first item, guys, it is a vintage, looks like a Indian heritage design. It's a Hanes. I'm not sure if it's vintage, honestly. It's made in Mexico. Yeah, it's got some groovy colors here going on here. Yeah, it's like a tribal print, and this, this is pretty popular right now, so if you can find that, it's pretty awesome. Picture me so, wearing it. Yep, and it's a pretty good size. I think it's like a large or extra, extra large, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, that one should do really well, probably around 40. I think these are called jelly rolls and it's actually uh, fabric. 
So it's fabric strips for people that like quilt and craft and stuff. Mm. And it is um, from Basic Gray, which is uh, originally from a scrapbooking company. And I know because I was a huge scrapbooker. I haven't scrapbooked in a long time, but I do know that brand. And this one's Little Black Dress. I guess that's the um, name of the actual print on the fabric. But this one was originally like $39. So, but we paid... $6.99 and some of these can go up to like 40 or $50 so I'd be happy to get like 30 yeah. so not too bad so that was pretty awesome. Nice. Alright so I found one real in the wild. I was yeah. stoked about this. Big cake pop fan for sure and uh, I saw this at the Goodwill where we're at. The Stray Kids. <laughs> yeah that was pretty awesome. Hoodie. It has their names of the members in the back there. And it's actually my size, so I'm gonna keep this for myself. Pretty yeah. proud of like finding this. Yay, yay! And it was half off because of the tag. So yeah. uh, I think we only paid, this I was think like uh, three, dollars three bucks. Or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So. I think it was five dollars originally, and half off that, <laughs> 250. So uh, there yeah. we go. Next, I got. I got a bunch of these. Um, this one's like an Easter set, and then I got the Halloween one, and then the Christmas one. So I'm thinking I probably will open them up for you guys, just because I'm curious. Now they are all vintage, so you guys definitely want to look out for these. They are just paper, kind of a thinner cardboard, that these were really popular like in the 70s. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like this one has a lot of little pieces I probably won't take out, but you got Rudolph here, you got Santa, we got some candle. Yep. Another go. Santa. Another Santa. <laughs> There's a theme here yeah. on Santa. Uh, Santa's coming in town. Santa! Oh my god! Santa here? This is a little stocking here. Yeah snowman so with these ones i'm not sure some of them are labeled like the brand name i see a couple that have them it's called it's a 1977 the beastle company made in the usa yeah so they do say made in the usa the santa one says made in the usa as well these ones I might just lot up together. I think the ones ideally that you're going to want to look out for, I could be wrong, I'm kind of new at this, but I, I've seen other resellers pick these up. Might have been Flips Finds Fun. They found a few of these. That's it Easter. could have been them. I can't remember. So we got Easter, a little bunny, more bunnies, uh, chicks and chicks with a basket. These will probably lot up as well. I think I was most excited about these Halloween ones because what I was telling you guys or started to tell you, I think the ones that you're gonna mostly wanna look out for are the ones that kinda have the brackets or the hinges that have like oh, their, yeah. their legs and stuff. Like an accordion like yeah. type design. So this is pretty cool with the tissue paper legs and arms kind of trying to see if it had a date or a name by the Facebook company these are 1978 for at least wow. these thanksgiving ones so right here it looks like all the same people donated these so i'm assuming that these are obviously vintage as well oh that's cool yeah a little um this is um stained what glass. is it yes does it say a date no date on there oh. it just says the new designing yeah this is nostalgic oh stained. yeah i remember those on the tables when my parents used to decorate for halloween and thanksgiving oh and then we got some corn, corn here that's my guess I'm not let's sure. see pineapple corn i don't know what that what is what holiday do we have with a pineapple no mm, holiday with pineapple, but check this one out. This is awesome. This is one of those paper turkeys. Definitely remember this from back in the day. It says made in the USA on it, so you know that's vintage. It's in pineapple. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then ran some random pilgrim. Well, yeah. I guess that goes with Thanksgiving. Yep, yeah, it does. And then, oh, those are cool. 
skull. Yep. Looking through with some bats and there's oh, a little ghost with like, a pumpkin. Kind of like Casper, the friendly ghost. Yeah, so those are pretty cool. So I will look them up individually and see if they're worth selling on their own. Mm -hmm. I think this guy is by far the best find out <laughs> of all of these. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this is worth. So definitely check these out if you guys are out in the wild, especially the ones that have the little hinges. See with the head yeah. and then the arms. These ones obviously have the tissue, but with the head, the movement, those are always great to find. Yeah. Oh, show. So the next item here is the hook and tackle. Yep. These are uh, swim trunks. Mm -hmm. um, the red ones look like some kind of pockets here. And uh, oh, cool. It actually has one for, I guess, knife. Yep, your knife. Oh yeah, it's pointing. Yep. Yeah, so I didn't we didn't know this brand when we picked it up. It says right there hook and tackle. Mm -hmm. So it just intrigued me because you want to look for tactical wear or tackle wear, um anything that's like outdoorsy <laughs> type brands, because they can do really well. This yep. is a larger size, which tend to do sometimes better than the smaller size. We picked those up, I don't know how much they're probably like four or five bucks and then i along with my vintage stuff i found this candle set thing chandelier <laughs> not a chandelier candra it's called a something it's called it's something with Lenora. a c no harmonica a harmonica card you mean it plays music no no elmo uh, not 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 harmonica uh, hanukkah this is definitely vintage um i was looking to see if it was jenny but it's not it's actually empire but some of these can do really well and we only paid a dollar 99 i still have to see if it works this probably go for around 25 30 dollars so not too bad on that always fine i found this oh, yeah. jordan this brand awesome. all over print um i was a big jordan fan growing up with the gear and everything so i saw this looked it up Took me a while to look this up. It's like about 40 or 50. But this one has definitely some little bit of wear issues, as yeah. you can tell. It's got a little staining down here, mm -hmm. but I'll try to put it in like some OxyClean and try to brighten it up. OxyClean, that's yeah. the thing that you want to use, guys. So, this is the Disney catalog um, brand. It's a, a Mickey Hawaiian shirt, basically a Hawaiian print in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it has Mickey and also me in there. So I don't know, see how much we can zoom in without the light, but yeah, yeah I'll just bag it up right here. There you go. Okay. So yeah. it has them in the designs. So it has Mickey here. I'm not sure where Minnie is. Minnie? She's over here. Ah, she's in, she's doing the little hula. What intrigued me about that is not just a Disney store or Disney land. It's actually a Disney catalog, which mm -hmm. I've never picked up Disney catalog before. So I was like, wow, this has got to do really well. Yeah. Um, I didn't find this exact one um, with the Disney catalog, but I'm thinking probably around $30 for this. And it is an XL, so mm -hmm. it should sell really, really well. Yeah. Big size is so well. Yep. And then this is my <laughs> other bag of goodies. Yeah, that's um, a big one. My daughter found this and it was marked $10, but we got it half off. I wouldn't have paid 10, but since it was half off, I'm not sure if this stuff is complete. I took a gamble on it. This is called the Christmas Collection by Paragon. And some of this needle craft stuff can do really well. I think this one actually might do really well. Hopefully it's complete. And then it looks like somebody already made this joy. Do you love him? <laughs> do you feel joy? Say joy. <laughs> Joy. It's a Christmas it's a canvas Christmas kit. Somebody already made the Noel Woo! one. So some of these things can do well if they're already pre-made. Some people just like the vintage look and they just want it. They don't want to buy it and make it. So they just buy it pre-made, obviously. There's just a bunch of yarn in here, but this cute little thing was in there. Um, pretty cute little Santa baskets. It is cool. the kit, I believe they are. Complete, and then I did find the joy, so it yes. is complete. It's really cool. Someone made that, that so really cool. yeah. So somebody will definitely enjoy that. <laughs> enjoy. And then this was like a half-made 
stocking here. I don't know if that's going to be worth anything. Mm. I'll have to see if the yarn's with it. I don't think it is. Yeah. And then also there was all these little pre-made. So they use them for coasters or something like that? Sometimes they'll make co coasters with these. I don't even know what really they use them for, <laughs> but they make them with these little plastic oh, yeah. weaving things. Just a bunch. There's a ton in here. There's cool. a ton in here. And then there's one here, and it comes with the directions Good. here for the joy. Someone also started making a bag. So this is really, Whoa. really nice. That so, is cool. Yeah, a lot of work went into this one. Lots of love. Somebody will want to complete it with handles, so we'll probably sell that. So this is the last one, guys, and this is the next year. Modem. The Wi-Fi cable modem router. Yeah. A lot of these get used for... Gosh, I think when like you sign up for a service in Dish Network or uh, Cox Cable or whatever, but this is the go-to router. It's used in the box, um, but it does have the instructions with it. Um, we'll definitely have to test it, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, this thing still used goes for around forty or fifty, and I think we paid five four ninety nine for it. So not bad there. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's all we got for today. Uh, that was a pretty good haul, I think. Yeah, that was uh, fun. No. What was your favorite, honey? Oh, probably hands down the Stray Kids. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I was just really stoked. I was really excited for him, too, because moving from California to Indiana, we did not expect to see any kind of K-pop stuff. So, yeah. And that's his favorite, and I enjoy them, too. So, oh, yeah. And I might steal it a little bit, too. Yeah. Hey, it was worth it. Yeah, and, uh, how about you? What about me? I have to say my favorite is probably that skeleton by far. Yeah. The one with the uh, tissue legs and arms. <laughs> yeah, so he's super cool. Can't wait to see what he's worth. And um, yeah, so hopefully you guys learned something today. Enjoyed our video of our haul from our first Goodwill trip in Indiana. Yeah. And we will be definitely putting more of those out for you. And until next time, until we thrift again, See you on the flip, flip side. side.